Body bags were whole lies. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for body bags. This week we're doing uh, the year uh, 2011, and the movie that I chose, Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> um. It's a pretty good one. Let me tell you what it's, it's about. Just give me a second. I, uh... It's not thinking this specifically clear. There we go. I just don't care about that. I'm ready to cover him. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> a rambunctious group of five college friends steal away for a weekend of debauchery in an isolated country cabin only to be attacked by horrific supernatural creatures in a night of endless terror and bloodshed. Sound familiar? Just wait as the teens begin to exhibit standard horror movie behavior, a group of technicians in a control room are scrutinizing and sometimes even controlling every move the terrified kids make. With their efforts continually thwarted by an all-powerful eye in the sky, do they have any chance of escape? Pretty good cast. The main, uh, not character, but, um, I'll just give you a list of the names here. Uh, you all know Chris Hemsworth, Thor, right? He's in it. Kristen Connolly, Anna Hutchinson, Fran Krantz, Krantz, my bad, Jesse Williams, or Jess Williams, Richard Jenkins, Bradley Whitford, and you know what, I'm, <laughs> some of those names are probably, like, really big names, I'm just, I mean, right now my apologies um it's a really nice movie it's basically the why are kids in like the old 80s movies so stupid kind of thing and it's like well it's because like there's being sacrificed and there's like they're being essentially not really like controlled but you know things are happening that are ultimately controlling them and those things that are happening are it's like this Right, there's the cabin, and underground is like this control room, you know, government kind of thing, right? In which they have a bunch of monsters locked up, and they basically are like, you know, not like telling the kids, but it's like, you know, placing it in front of them to, for the kids. You know, the kids ultimately choose, you know, unbeknownst to them, what the mon what monster they're gonna have to face for the movie, right? Um, and then they release the monster and. They um, alter certain things like putting a gas in the air to make the kids maybe a little more stupid. So like, say if the kids are like, okay, we need to stick together, they're like, oh, turn the gas on. The gas comes out and then the kids are like, oh, we should actually separate, right? I like it. I like this movie. It's pretty underrated, I think. I say underrated. People. <laughs> I would say there's probably more people that like this movie than not like this movie. But, you know, still, right? There is a cameo at the very end of the movie that's like, oh, that's cool that she's in it. I won't tell you who it is. Maybe you should just go watch the movie yourself. Um, I think something I want to do onward is instead of, like, rating it, not that I'm doing that anyway anymore... But um, I want to do a thing where I'm like, what's my favorite thing about this movie? And what's my least favorite thing about this movie? I think my favorite thing about this movie is just the idea, the con the, the uh, concept of it. That being this movie is basically here to explain why horror movies happen kind of thing. Or like why, you know, kids are stupid in the old slasher movies. And it's because it's like, you know, it's this movie, right? I think my least favorite thing, and this is gonna be spoiler alert, but um, if you if you don't want to know, right, just go onward. But if you've seen the movie, then you know whatever. Um, at the end, there's like two of the five kids left, and they find themselves in the control room kind of thing, and they're cornered by a bunch of like SWAT looking guys, and the SWAT guys are like shooting or trying to shoot at them, and they're hiding behind like a like a room with like, you know, bulletproof glass or whatever. 
and they have the uh, ability to open up all the elevators which would release all the monsters and so they do and all the monsters come out and then they all the monsters start killing the SWAT guys I think my least favorite thing about this movie and I get it it's like how are you gonna like do this um, physically just when you watch the scene it's like you can tell that the, there's a lot of like CG and there could have been some practical and whenever there was practical effects it was pretty good but um it's just that scene I'm like imagine if that scene was physical you know and I guess if you want to be technical it's like I mean there's just small things I mean when I go to watch a horror movie I go to watch watch it for like the story and like the music so like phantasm i love the story and i love the music right and all the other stuff that they put that like doesn't necessarily need to be in it, it's whatever it's fine but like i'm not going to watch the movie because of that so you know that this movie has some of that stuff in it and it's like it's you know it's whatever i guess but um right um i don't know if there's anything else to say about this movie it's really nice i like it um this release is a uh, lionsgate release it's blu-ray of course you already saw them. the special features there's a a lot of behind the scene kind of stuff but there is a commentary or there's a there's just one commentary um yeah it's a hour and a half so it's not bad time one time wise um yeah i'm sam i'm your thirsty guy for body bags i did a uh, cabin in the woods and you should watch it if you have seen it, maybe you should watch it again. If you have not seen it, um, maybe watch it, you know? I should have done it the other way around. It's like, oh, I had... if you haven't seen this movie, you should go watch it. And if you have seen it, you should watch it again. Yeah, it sounds better the other way around. Uh, yeah, it's all of that right there in like 30 seconds for you. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.